Now let's talk about the makeup of this year's team. You've got eight returning starters from last year and an influx of new players. Talk about the makeup of your club. Yeah, well, we're very young. We've got uh, four freshmen, we've got 11 sophomores, and we've got six juniors, zero seniors, which is really exciting. We've got eight newbies that came in, four transfers, and four of them are freshmen. And we're just excited to see what they're going to bring to the table. Talk about some of the key returning players who provide that nucleus for this club. Yeah, you know, a couple standouts. You know, you have Corey Kreps, who's a veteran. Uh, she's been absolutely unbelievable. She's a leader. Uh, we've got Kennedy Page who's coming back who leads the team, uh, Kennedy Johnson, and we've got Adriana Chavarria as well. So all of those are kind of the core nucleus that really started the foundation. You also took advantage of the transfer portal and got some experienced players in there. Who are some names maybe that people should watch, some newcomers? We did. We got uh, Lourdes Bacon. She's from San Antonio, and she was at UTSA. We got her to come in fast, very fast. It's going to be exciting. I think she's going to be a crowd favorite with how she can run on the bases. We've got Ashlyn Ard, who transferred in conference from Troy, and strong powerhouse. Uh, we'll look to put her at the shortstop position. And then we've got Taylor Brodick, who's bringing a lot of speed, another lefty slapper on uh, third base. And then we've got Victoria Abrams, who's a Caldwell Parish, uh, born and raised, went to LSU, and uh, found her way back home to ULM. What's your big, biggest difference between last year's team and this year's team? I would say the biggest difference this year compared to last year is going to be our pitching depth. Uh, we've got a couple freshman arms with Victoria Abrams and Kinsey Cackley who are going to provide an unbelievable amount of power, ex just excitement in the circle. And you know how it is, it always starts in the circle. So we're excited to see those two work. Your team will climb the conference standings if they do what this year? If we pitch, if we have great defense, and if we have timely hitting. Talk about so when you look around, you've had a chance now to lay the foundation for your program, but you see all the construction that's going going on. It's got to be an exciting time for, for you, not only for the current players, but as you go out recruiting. It is. It's, it's a dream come true. Uh, we've got the construction going on, and uh, every day I'm taking a tour of it to see what's, what, what it's going to look like. And I know we're really excited. I know the girls are excited. And um, we're just building this place one day at a time, one brick at a time. I know you wanted to mention the facility by name, so you want to make something in on that? Yeah, so the Stanger Young Leadership Center is what we're building right uh, right down the first baseline and right field, and we couldn't be more excited about those two donors that came through to make a dream come true for this program. You've had a lot on the staff now as your hitting coach. Uh, I know you're excited about having her in the mix. Coach Lena Holmgren has been unbelievable. We got her this summer, and she's taken over the hitting, and we cannot be more thankful to have her. She's done an awesome job with the hitters, and we can't wait to see how many runs we put up. Season opening tournament this weekend. I would imagine you have an opportunity now to maybe play with your lineup a little bit, maybe look at uh, personnel at different positions. Talk about going into that first tournament. It's kind of a, a good opportunity to kind of uh, get a gauge for where your team's at right now. Oh, it's so much fun. You know, we've got five games this weekend, and I highly doubt all five lineups are going to be the same. Uh, that's, that's the beauty of preseason, see where people fit best and uh, where they're going to do the best as far as defensively, offensively, what's going to produce the most runs. And um, we just can't wait. We actually had the girls write their own lineups yesterday. And I told them, I said, understand the lineup we write on February 11th will not be the same write -up lineup we write March 11th. And just stick with the process and take advantage of your opportunities. Last thing I wanted to ask you, Molly, talk about uh, how important leadership is, especially from your older players. Oh, leadership's huge. You know, they, they know this is, I'm going on my fourth year here, and they know the expectation. They know uh, what the program is supposed to be doing, and, and so they're going to hold people to that standard. And especially with the eight newcomers that came in, they've done an extremely well job of getting them into the culture and buying, buying in.